At Informatica Cloud, we recently worked with a customer who needed real-time integration between Cvent, which is an event planning um, cloud-based software package, and Salesforce. Uh, so what I'm going to do today is show you three use cases that we developed with this customer. Uh, the first one will be one where we take a location on an event in Salesforce, uh, and when the location changes in Salesforce, we'll replicate that change or propagate that change over to Cvent. Uh, then another uh, use case is when an event is created or modified in Cvent. We want that information to be propagated over to Salesforce. And the third use case would be where a contact is um, created or updated on the um, Cvent side. We want to check to see if that already exists in Salesforce. If it does, update uh, that contact. If it doesn't exist, create a new contact. So let's jump in. I'm going to start by going to an event in Salesforce. This event is associated with a, a test contact here. And that event is Informatica World 2016. When I come in, we can see the location is currently set to San Francisco. If I go look at the equivalent event in Cvent, you'll see Informatica World 2016. It's in San Francisco. So let's go in and make a change. Let's say we've decided to relocate the show this year to uh, Los Angeles. But I've made that change, and what you'll see is that went off and kicked off a real-time process. What we did in Salesforce here, and I'll show this to you, we have um, configured a workflow rule in Salesforce, and that workflow rule will fire off an outbound message that hits a, an endpoint, that hits a RESTful endpoint. So here's the workflow rule. It's called event location updates. Here it is. And you can see anytime the field location is changed, that's going to fire off an outbound message. And that goes off and hits an endpoint on Informatica Cloud. Let me show you what that endpoint looks like. Uh, it's an endpoint that says update event location. And what we do is we just go through a series of steps here where we log in to Cvent. And then we um, call an update event parameters operation in the Cvent Web Services API. Uh, and then we actually change the process title. Instead of calling it update event location, you'll see we give it a more meaningful title. So if I come over to our process console and refresh this, we should see uh, that a process instance was triggered. And there it is. We see the update event location to Los Angeles. Notice that that, again, name of the process was changed, added a little bit of metadata to it so it would make more sense. I can actually drill into that. You're able to get really nice monitoring and see what happened in each step of the process. And now, of course, the uh, real acid test is to go over to Salesforce and go to that Informatica World event and see if we've changed the location to Los Angeles. So when I come back in, we see here that the location was changed. So pretty simple use case, very easy to set up with Informatica Cloud. And obviously I was using location here as one example, but we could have replicated any or all of the fields from an event in Salesforce over to Cvent. All right, now let's go the other direction. Let's go into Cvent and create a new contact. And when I do that, we should see an equivalent contact created over on the Salesforce side. So I'm going to create a brand new contact, one that I'm pretty sure does not exist in Salesforce, but let's just check that. Okay, yeah, he does not exist in Salesforce. All right, so I save that off. That creates a new contact. That's now going to cause Cvent to generate an outbound message that will also hit our endpoint. Show you briefly where that's done. They have this API integration, this push API. And you'll see here that we've got send events to Informatica Cloud. If I drill into that and look at it, you'll see we're going to hit our endpoint. We're using an authentication token to authenticate. And we're going to um, uh, send, we're going to hit that endpoint anytime any number of things happens. Uh, so for instance, if uh, a contact's created or contact's edited, we do that. Or if you have uh, uh, changes on events, that'll also get propagated out. So it turns out that in Cvent, they call this webhooks. The webhooks are not real time. They take anywhere from a minute or two to maybe five minutes before they fire off. So I can come back and check my console and see if that's run, but it might take a moment or so here before that actually runs. So what I'm going to do in the meantime, looks like it's started to uh, 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 start to run. By the way, I'll show you what this process generic event looks like. 
here it is. You see we get an inbound message coming in. We start this based on a rest or a soap call. And we get this uh, inbound message coming in. And then we look at it and we say, was the message related to events or is it related to contacts? If it's related to contacts, we go into the sub process. And this is where we right away do some checks. So we have a field for a contact object in Salesforce. And what we do is we check and we see if we do a query based on the email address, we try to find out if that contact already exists in Salesforce. If it does, we set that contact object equal to that ID. And then we make a decision here and we say it's set. So at that point, we just update uh, the existing contact in, in Salesforce. If the contact ID is not set, then we create a new contact in Salesforce using these fields, and then we move on. So let's come back to the process console and see if this is run yet. So I've updated the process console. Here's my create contact for Ricky Fowler. And then let's come into Salesforce and see if we can find Ricky. Uh, there he is. And uh, notice we don't have any phone numbers on Ricky, but we did create the contact directly from the webhook. Let's do one more thing. Let's go back into um, and find Ricky Fowler and update information on him and then have that pushed over to Salesforce again through a process. So now if I come in and edit that new contact I created and I put in some phone numbers, save that off. So again, this will go fire off another outbound message, a webhook from Cvent. We'll receive that uh, after a few moments and then we can go check Salesforce to make sure that it's been updated. Okay, I've refreshed the uh, process console now and you can see we have a new process that came in to update contact Ricky Fowler. And if I come over to the Salesforce side and refresh this screen, we should see the work phone and the uh, mobile phone were updated with those numbers I put in. And there they are. So uh, hopefully that was useful. What I've shown you today is how with Informatica Cloud, it's very easy to design service orchestrations or process integrations, expose those things as either a SOAP API or a REST API, and then call them. Uh, we called them from Salesforce with an outbound message to update Cvent. We also called those APIs from Cvent webhooks uh, to update Salesforce. Hope this has been useful. Thanks for watching.